photo getter throughout the 2016 election and for the better part of this year, WikiLeaks sent private messages via Twitter to the president's deadlifting adult son Donald Trump Jr., according to newly leaked correspondence first reported by The Atlantic. Trump Jr. only occasionally responded and apparently ceased all communication less than a month before the election. The chats, which were also handed over to congressional investigators, started last summer after WikiLeaks began releasing a trove of emails poached by ERs from prominent Democratic Party members, the product of Kremlin-directed cyber attacks, according to the U.S. intelligence community, as well as multiple private security firms that examined the DNC's corpse of a server. The communications, which Gizmodo has not confirmed independently, reveal an intense thirst on the part of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, who clearly holds a candle for Donald Trump. Although WikiLeaks, which denies being a Russian puppet, did the lion's share of the talking, it appears that in some cases Trump Jr. actually conveyed the whistleblowing website's requests through to the highest echelons of his father's presidential campaign. Following their initial chat, in which WikiLeaks warned Trump Jr. that anti-Trump site ButenTrump.org is about to launch, Trump Jr. reportedly alerted, among others, Steve Bannon, Kellyanne Conway, and Trump's son-in-law Jared Kushner. The various requests WikiLeaks made of Trump Jr. grew increasingly bizarre as time marched on. Hey Donald, great to see you and your dad talking about our publications, it would be real easy and helpful for your dad to suggest that Australia appoint Assange ambassador to DC, WikiLeaks suggested a little more than a month after the election. The account, almost certainly with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange behind the keyboard, went on to suggest how Trump might frame the argument that's a real smart tough guy in the most famous Australian you have or something similar, WikiLeaks wrote in a transparent attempt to capture Trump's inarticulate style. About a month before the election, and 15 minutes after WikiLeaks notified Trump Jr. that it had released the fourth set of emails stolen from Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, John Podesta, then-candidate Trump tweeted, Very little pickup by the dishonest media of incredible information provided by WikiLeaks. So dishonest rigged system after Donald Trump proclaimed, I love WikiLeaks during an October 10th campaign rally, WikiLeaks messaged Trump Jr. Hey Donald, great to see you and your dad talking about our publications. WikiLeaks also had a plan for if Trump lost the election, which it reportedly conveyed to Trump Jr. on election day. Hi Don, if your father loses we think it is much more interesting if he does not concede sick and spends time challenging the media and other types of rigging that occurred, as he has implied that he might do. WikiLeaks continued the discussion can be transformative as it exposes media corruption, primary corruption, PAC corruption, etc. In July of this year, WikiLeaks asked Trump Jr. to consider handing over his father's tax returns. While running, Donald Trump promised to release his tax records on numerous occasions, though he, of course, never did. WikiLeaks suggested that doing so would rob his opponents of a valuable talking point, according to The Atlantic. U.S. publishing not only deprives them of this ability but is beauty confounding, WikiLeaks argued. According to The Atlantic, Trump Jr. never once told WikiLeaks to fuck off. He instead tweeted out links Assange secretly sent him. Alan Futifers, an attorney for Trump Jr., told the magazine that he had been cooperating with investigations into ties between Trump campaign officials and the Russian government and had turned over thousands of documents so far. Putting aside the question as to why or by whom such documents provided to Congress under promises of confidentiality, have been selectively leaked. Futifers said, we can say with confidence that we have no concerns about these documents and any questions raised about them have been easily answered in the appropriate forum. Gizmodo reached out to WikiLeaks for comment via a Twitter DM. We'll let you know if they respond. The Atlantic Update, 630pm Julian Assange has started tweeting about the story.